It's not a hospital, but a Parksville hockey arena is becoming known for saving lives. Today, several employees are being awarded for jumping to the rescue of people that would have surely died otherwise. Sky Ryan introduces us to the thankful survivors. Hitting the ice that day, Bernie Dyko was doing what he loves best. Here's a goal. I couldn't get out of the house fast enough. <laughs> it was September 21st, 2011. It would be life changing. The doctor said I shouldn't be here. He was playing in the Parksville Panthers Old Timers Hockey League that for decades has been his weekly ritual when with his wife Bernice just meters away, he went down at the end of the game. Bernie was clinically dead on, at the bench. The 82-year-old suffering a heart attack that despite efforts of all around appeared to have taken his life. It took actually 13 minutes to get a pulse from him, which is a long, long time. You thought you lost him. Uh, yeah. Until this defibrillator that had never been used before. In all the staff know where it is. But employees of this Parksville arena were trained to use came through. It just, you'd, I thought of nothing else. It just the training came back and everybody was doing their part. It, it was very intense, but uh, it wasn't a panic situation. I didn't want to be without him, so he, he came back. <laughs> Now those quick-thinking arena employees are being honored by BC Ambulance Service, awarded for using their life-saving skills when they were needed most. Actually, Bernie was one of the ones that suggested that we get a defibrillator for the arena, and it saved his life. And it would soon be needed again. For some reason, things happened in three, and everybody was dropping. All right, Tommy! Player Walter Clark suffered a heart attack here just weeks later. No warning. That's the problem with the kind of heart attacks that we've had. And Wayne Randall's heart stopped in December on this ice, requiring the defibrillator. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. It's that simple. So. Awaiting the okays from their doctors, all three survivors are hoping to be back on this ice by next fall. I'm going to. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> scares the heck out of me. <laughs> I, yeah, I was, you know, we could put a battery charger on the bench. But all kidding aside, staff say they are ready and willing to face whatever these now close friends of theirs may need again. It's, it's amazing. I'm telling you, it's amazing.